since I don't have plumbing into my shop, what I gotta do to fill up my, my live bin, I gotta get my little tractor here, hook it up to my buggy, and go fill it up at the house. Oh. You guys are getting right along with the redneck. Here we go. Come on, start four stroke. you guys haven't seen it this is a cool little trick to remove hard anodizing you sprinkle some of that in there you can already see it eating at that anodizing it doesn't harm the aluminum it just takes a level of that hard anodizing off so we're gonna let that soak for about an hour and we'll check back look at that Hmm. All right, it's been an hour. Let's check it out. Sorry about the one-handed action. I'm just gonna show you real quick. Look how nice that comes off. So I'll hone this, I'll get all of this, all of this black stuff off. So the hard anodizing's been removed, and then at that point I'll start sanding out the scratches. I'll show you when we're done. To start with, we're going to use the 180 grit uh, Prime MX flap wheel. 
do a couple passes through, see how she looks. I'm just using the weight of the swing arm, that's all. All right, folks, today we are going to be finishing up the Craig Decker CR125 uh, swing arm. I've already got one side almost done and to kind of give you an idea of kind of the finish we're looking for. I love the brushed aluminum look on these swing arms. Got the majority of the dings out and I can live with the ones that are left on there. Just, I don't want to take too much material away from these swing arms, so. Using the Prime MX wheels, I'm using the 180 grit to get this look right here. And then I'm gonna throw it in the vapor honer just to get uh, a little more consistency. So I'm gonna be working on this side today. And uh, let's get started. So what I've found to kind of be the, the most effective way of doing this is just lightly kind of drag it at an angle, like so. Not a lot of pressure. 